Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, this is Making It Happen with Mary, and I am Mary. Today's video, we are going to talk about Sweater Weather by Bath & Body Works. Now, I know this is the packaging from last year, or even maybe even the year before. This is actually the packaging from 2020. 2020, damn! Um, but I did smell it in store when it just came out. It smelled the same to me. There was no difference. Uh, so let's let's talk about her. Scent notes are sun crisped apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. I do like sweater weather. She does not smell the same as the candle. The candle smells different. It smells more masculine to me. The body spray, the body care from Bath & Body Works. You do get an apple note, but it's not a sweet, red, juicy apple. It's more like a mulled apple, almost like the apple that would be in an apple cider minus the cinnamon. See what I'm saying? Yes, that type of an apple. And you do pick up that like crispy leaf type of a scent, that earthy smell as well as the orchard woods, which to me is some type of a wood note. I'm not exactly positive what that wood note is, but it's definitely a warmer wood note. It is pretty. I do like it. This definitely can be a unisex type of a scent. Um, I've discovered over the years that with people, a lot of people either love or hate sweater weather. Some people think it's a little too masculine vibes, you know what I mean? But to me, I think it's pretty in moderation. I personally prefer sweeter scents, more gourmand. I do like this, but I would probably pair it with something, something vanilla to warm it up. Yeah, yeah. But that's neither here nor there. We are going to talk about some comparisons as well. You ready? You ready? You ready? Y'all? I saw over on Instagram, somebody was comparing this to Fineries before the rainbow. Y'all, 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 look, let me read you the notes on Finery, okay? Scent notes are salt, oak moss, and bergamot. <laughs> no. No, the, the closest thing to this that I could, the only thing I could even see comparable is the moss note in here is earthen. And there is an earthen note in here, that leaves note, that crisp orchard leaves, autumn leaves, that's earthen. But other than that, no. This definitely has a very predominant salt note as well as the bergamot, which is Bergamot is like citrus, bruh. It's citrus. Uh, I ain't never seen an apple in the citrus family unless I'm missing something. Yeah, no, no, no. And the moss note in this is very heavy. Like, I want to say the moss note is the heaviest note in this. Um, it's very earthen. However... The salt and the bergamot play it up in the background. This, to me, is much more of an aquatic scent than this. This is not aquatic. I would not associate with aquatic whatsoever. No, 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 no. This is more like along the lines of fresh earthen with the tiniest bit of apple in it to kind of sweeten it up, which that mulled apple... Yeah, yeah, they're they're nothing alike. Like, not even in the same family, bruh. Like, they don't share any of the same DNA. It's just not popping. It's not popping. No, 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 no. I'd definitely be requesting a DNA test if that baby was in my family. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. The next one I saw was just as ridiculous, in my opinion, and that was Kaylee's Eden Juicy Apple. Now, I love me some Kaylee Eden. In fact, this is my third bottle I've gone through. Yes, third. You heard me. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's so beautiful. Let me read you the notes on Eden. 
scent notes are red apple, lychee, black currant, pink grapefruit, wild berries, raspberry bloom, jasmine, rose, sugar, musk, vanilla, amber, and moss. The most predominant things that stick out to me in this is the red apple and the lychee. Wild berries, definitely, I picked that up. As well as some sugar, amber, and moss, slightly. But this is a much sweeter fragrance. Do I think these would pair together well? Absolutely. Like, I think it'd be bomb. Bomb, diggity dog, banging, banging, banging. But this... being compared to this is ridiculousness at its finest in my opinion like the, the no no the earthen note in this and that woods is nowhere to be found in this scent like nowhere i love kaylee's eden but it is nothing like this this is much sweeter more vibrant with those berries and fruit notes the lychee the, the apple much more vibrant than this is. No, 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 no. Not the daddy. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Another one. <laughs> Guys, I can't help myself with some of these because I'm just... <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Bro, there was a girl on TikTok saying, Open sky... Open sky with sweater weather. Baby girl. <laughs> Baby girl, please don't do any more comparisons because, honey, your sniffer is not functioning properly. Scent notes on open sky is fresh air, wild blackberries, soft violet, and a cloud of comforting vanilla. Now, I will preface this by saying I am not a fan of open sky. I like the perfume of open sky better, much better in fact. The body spray to me, I really tried to like her, but there's something about this I just can't get past. Bonnie, queen of the girl geeks, said that this reminds her of fishing lures, and I can kind of see that, that similarity there, because it has like a plasticky, not like bad plastic, not like kaleidoscope. That was nasty. This is more along the lines of like plastic that's fresh plastic, like fishing lures in a way, now that I'm thinking about it. Like how when you take them out of a brand new pack and they're wrapped up in that plastic and you take them out and the way they smell. Yeah. Yeah, I, um, I'm not a fan. As I keep smelling it, I'm just like, I do get a fresh air note, but everything else, there is no wild blackberry in this. They done lie to our houses on that. I do get the teeniest bit of violet, but only when I'm specifically looking for it. Ain't no damn vanilla in this. They... They lion, 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 liar, liar. You sit on a throne of lies. Yes. Yeah, no. It, it is nothing like sweater weather. Yes, there's a fresh air component about this, but this is beautiful and nothing like this. Like, this should just be thrown away. I, I keep it for review purposes only, but please believe, baby, I will not be wearing it. Yeah. The perfume smells so much different to me, like way different. I actually get a blackberry note in that as well as a little bit of vanilla. I don't get any fishing lure in the perfume. It's so crazy to me how sometimes perfumes and their matching body spray can be very different. And this is one of those cases because this, this, that ain't it, baby. That ain't it. <laughs> no, no, no. Now, the one that I think would be maybe a really close relative is Zara's apple juice. Like, you see, I got a big old dent in that girl. That girl got a big, she got a big old dent in that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm.
baby. She ain't got dimples in her ass. She got potholes. That's how big them dent is, all right? Scent notes on Zara is apple, grapefruit, and orange, peony, rose, violet, jasmine, musk, sandalwood, and cedar. And I think that's what the key notes is in there besides that apple. Because I don't really get any floral out of this, like, at all. No, I don't get any floral out of this. I do get the apple and those wood notes. The only difference, I would say, if you took out that leaves, the, the what does it say, the autumn leaves, which I think is like that earthen smell, if you took that out of Sweather Weather, I think you would have Zara's apple juice. Absolutely. I do think they're very close. They're probably first, maybe second cousins. They're close because honestly, there is nothing I've come across quite yet that in my opinion compares to Sweater Weather. Like none. Yeah, it is very unique. Stands by herself. Stands on her own two feet for sure. But Zara's apple juice definitely has that wooden notes with that same type of apple, uh, which I think is very interesting. Well, I think these would pair together beautifully, as a matter of fact. Yet another pairing for this. Um, but yeah, it's definitely not sweater weather. Uh, very, very different. Close, but that leaf, that earthen leaf smell from this, is not in there whatsoever. So this is definitely a unique fragrance in my opinion. She'll probably always be in my collection. She's not one of my favorites, but I do like her. It's nice to switch it up and have some variety in there. You know what I mean? So, but yeah, everybody, that is my thoughts on Sweater Weather and my comparisons. What did you think? Did you pick up Sweater Weather? Are you a fan of Sweater Weather? Uh, let me know what you guys think down below. You know I love to hear your comments, y'all. You know I love it. You know I do. So, but other than that, y'all know the drill. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. And if you have not subscribed and you are still sitting there lurking, stalker, you might as well just join the team already. Quit playing. And ding the bell, yo, so you are alerted every time I upload. Other than that, y'all, I will catch you in the next one. All right, you guys. Bye-bye.